24th to set the sentencing date. And this judge will figure out how much time to give Michael Dunn. He's facing enough time that he'll be spending the rest of his life in prison. Let me bring back in my legal dream team, criminal defense attorney Kelly Sandin. The Honorable Alex Ferrer, host of the syndicated judge Alex Show, and Tanya Miller, criminal defense attorney in studio. All right, so let's talk about what happens next to Michael Dunn. Judge, let me begin with you because you're a judge down in Florida. Um, does he get sentenced on this before the retrial? And if so, what are the implications of that? Yeah, there's no reason not to sentence him. The only reason for the delay is probably the ordering of a pre-sentence investigation report, which is required by law. Otherwise, he could be sentenced on the spot. Um, so when they bring him back in, uh, he's going to get, well, you figure, on the three counts, he faces a minimum of 20 years on each under the Florida's 1020 life law. So that's 60 years right there. They have to run consecutively under the law. Um, he's 40-something. Right there, he dies in prison without going above the minimum mandatory at all. And then you've got an, uh, up to 15 years on the other count. Uh, so at that point, a lot of defendants look at it and see the handwriting on the wall and they take a plea. Some of them hope for some kind of reversal on appeal and, and they fight all the way. It really depends on how sure his attorney is uh, about this conviction standing. Yeah, I, I don't see Michael Dunn backing down at all, Tanya. No. I mean, he didn't back down. Uh, according to him in that parking lot, right? He's pretty aggressive. He's pretty sure of himself. He was cocky on the witness stand during the trial. He still believes what he did was right Absolutely. in his mind, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he has taken no responsibility. I mean, we see that. Uh, we saw that today as well with, with George Zimmerman's interview, and I guess we'll talk about that later, but he has taken no responsibility. Uh, he did not stay on the scene. He did not act in any way appropriately if his story was true, as he said. So there's no reason to think that at this point in time, after having been found uh, guilty of these offenses, that he's going to do anything differently. So, You know, Kelly, I'm thinking about the retrial again, because I'm focused on retrying Gunn, okay. right? Retrying uh, Dunn. They retry him now. He's a convicted felon. When he gets up on the witness stand, if I'm the prosecution, I'm going to make an argument that the jury should know he's a convicted felon at that point. Sure. I mean, as a prosecutor, that's exactly what I would want to do. I would say he's a convicted felon. Not only does he have gun problems in his past, but now he's going serving time for discharging a weapon unlawfully as convicted. So, you know, obviously the defense at that time is going to move to exclude that. They're going to say it's too prejudicial. It's not probative. It's going to cloud the issue. And how do you bring it up and not allow him to explain that it's the same instance? So that will potentially be a really tricky issue. Um, I'm sure. Uh, Good judge thing we Alex have a judge. A little more insight on how we've got a judge. <laughs> we've got a judge right here, Judge Alex. Will that happen at the retrial? The, the, if the prosecution wants to bring up the fact he's a convicted felon, uh, will the judge allow it, and will this jury know? And so, when he is forced to testify yet again and tell his story yet again, will the jury know that hey, this guy done? He's a convicted felon. You know, Vinny, I have to admit that I don't remember the answer to that question. I've had it come up when I was a judge on, in the criminal division, and I seem to remember there may be some case law that says the conviction is not final until the direct appeal is completed, and there's a ah. mandatory direct appeal to every conviction in Florida. So I, I believe that the case law says until the direct appeal is completed, it's not a conviction for purposes of testimony. But honestly, I might be wrong because it's been a while since I've been on the criminal bench now. All right, but if that's the case, then I could see the defense looking for a quick retrial and prosecutors wanting to perhaps take a little time with it. Michael Dunn now looking at spending the rest of his life behind bars, but for many, that's not enough. And Hollywood is again taking a stand. What top celebrities are saying, and what do you want to know? Ask Vinny. Just ask me. That's next. Have you ever